Hello everyone! Welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to, as last time, I told you, I showed you guys that bricks, they'll build up and they will just create a lot of lag with these droppers if not taken care of properly. So today, we're going to take care of that properly. So our first step is going to be go to the dropper and insert a script into the other script. Literally, just it's scriptception basically. So we have a script inside this script, and we're going to name it this inner script. We're going to name it remove brick. Simple script like that. Now the first step is going to be script, or actually it's just going to be wait. And we're going to wait, um, we'll give them three seconds. And if nothing happens correctly, then script that parent, that parent. Now, remember, we're going to be putting this script into the bricks we create that are dropping from the dropper. And those bricks are inside, if I can find my mouse here, they are inside this money bricks. So it's going to be script that parent will be the brick, that parent will be money bricks that parent will be tycoon. So script that parent, that parent, that's currently the money bricks. That parent, that's the tycoon. That um, money to collect will create this value in a second. That value equals, we'll copy this real quick, paste it, plus one. Uh, now of course you can uh, tinker with this one value make it worth more it really depends on what you want how much you make things cost in your tycoon try to keep the tycoon stuff at least kind of moderately priced or else people no matter how much money they're making will think you're outrageous okay so this script is going to s just give us money but we still aren't removing it so next step is script dot parent remove all right it's an easy thing, but we're going to cut this, and we're going to make a function up here, and I'll explain why. Function remove brick. All right, and we'll just say end at, this, at the end of it. There we go. Now, all we got to do after this wait is remove brick. Now, you guys will notice we added a lot of lines. Earlier, we, we were at just three. Now, we're at seven. So, why did we add four lines? Well, the reason for it is because we also want to make a dot touched event that does the same thing when it runs into the catch, the bottom brick here that catches these. Because we don't want them to only disappear after three seconds. No, we also want that's that's the like safe check. That's to check and double check and triple check ourselves, make sure we aren't completely losing it. All right, so we're going to go back to remove brick. And we're going to make script dot parent dot touch connect function hit and and we're just going to check if hit that parent or actually hit that name not hit that parent we actually want to check the brick itself what we hit if hit that name equals 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 if hit that name equals catch then remove brick end and that's it that's just going to give us more money remove the brick and go forward now right now we're also going to run into an error though because we have money to collect but that really doesn't exist so we're going to fix that by adding a money to collect by the way I just disabled the remove brick script make sure to disable it go to the Explorer click on remove brick then go to properties and disable it. This will keep the script from running and breaking and adding lag until we're ready to use it. Now in tycoon, we're going to insert an int value and we're just going to name this money to collect. And it's going to start out at zero, just like it is right now. And as you can see, it's called money to collect. So we got that all working fine and dandy as always. Now, after we've done that, we got to go into our script that's actually creating these bricks and put this remove brick script inside of those. So we're just going to make rb equal script dot remove brick clone rb dot parent equals b 
and rb.disabled equals false. And that's it. What this is doing is it's creating a clone, a new instance of the exact same thing as the remove brick script, which is inside our current script. So script that remove brick clone, and then rb.parent equals b, which are, is our variable for the brick that's being created. Remember, right here we are making a new variable for the new part. That's what b is. It's creating a new variable. Then we are setting b c frame, which is a variable linking to the brick we created, b c frame to the droppers c frame in our current model and multiply and we aren't really multiplying it. It's just how you use C frame. When you want to add or subtract with vector 3, you use plus and minus. With C frame, you have to use multiplication. Don't ask me why. Ask Roblox. So you multiply them, and we just subtract one to bring it below our dropper. That way it can fall and not be stuck inside. And then we create a new variable, which links to a clone of our remove brick script. And then the, we put the parent for remove brick, our RB um, variable, and we put the parent as B, which again is the variable linking to the brick we created. And then we disable, or we re-enable by saying disable to false on our remove brick script so that it can run and remove the brick when needed. All right. So now here is the fun part, the testing. Yep, it's loading studio again. Great job, Mario Star 6464. It's really great. Now, it's taking a while to load, um, but at least he actually said loading studio. All right, there we go. You guys can see it's dropping, it's removing. Now, if we were to run into an issue where they were collecting up in here and not registering that they're hitting the um, catch. Well, they would disappear after three seconds each after they've been created. So it works out perfectly. And we can still not claim Tycoon, the reason being, look up at our leaderboard. Again, our leaderboard works, it's just not working in this test. So when we want to try buying this or collecting the money, we'll have to use something else like um, new make a server, add players to it like we did before. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.